In this session, I'll be going to explain Barriot diode, and this is even referred as barrier injection transient time diode. So, for this understanding of barrier diode, I'll be going to follow this session outlines where I'll be explaining basics of barrier diode. Then I'll explain internal structure, and then we'll see barrier diode electric field in forward bias. and then i'll explain how characteristic is there with barrier diode and then by some wave forms i'll explain how barrier diode can functions and at the end i will sum up this session with applications of barrier diode so let us begin this session with first point which is what basics of barrier diode now when we talk about barrier diode that is having so many similarities which is there with widely used impact diode so there is what similar in terms of structure when we talk about other diode where impact diode is having so many similarities which is there with barrier diode barrier diode has been used usually for microwave signal generation and uh, when we do microwave signal generation we use two different categories of material in a structure of barrier diode one is silicon when we use silicon at that time we focus about frequency of operation which is there at 25 gigahertz and for one more material structure which is gallium arsenide that could be utilized for a barrier diode functioning at 90 gigahertz so one can understand like 25 and 90 gigahertz of diodes are available with barrier structure now when we talk about what is the major difference which is there with barrier diode and other diode then that basic difference which is there with barrier diode and other diode is it works based on thermionic emission while when we talk about other diode those other diodes are functioning on avalanche multiplication so here in barrier diode we don't have avalanche multiplication here we have thermionic emission and based on thermionic emission it is functioning that's why barrier diode produces low noise microwave signal so because of thermionic emission which is what we are utilizing barrier diode can produce low noise microwave signal now if we see some basics about barrier diode then in its internal structure one can find there are two back to back diodes are connected so when we apply any potential to barrier diode what happens is out of this two back to back diode one diode will be in reverse bias so most of the voltage drop that occurs across reverse bias which is there in one of that two back to back diode and that i'll explain when i will explain that internal structure of barrier diode and in barrier diode one more major thing which is that which is having punch through effect now barrier diode is functioning based on punch through even this is what i will be explaining when i will when i will explain that internal structure with forward bias and barrier diode offers negative resistance characteristic at microwave and that is even happening because of injection of holes from collector to other end and even that is what i'll be explaining in its working so this three points one is back to back diode connection and voltage drop is across reverse bias junction out of this two one diode and then i'll explain one punch through effect what is how that is happening inside and third thing is like how it offers negative resistance characteristic so this is what the basic concern which is what we need to see while we observe working of barrier diode and that is what will be going to observe that in characteristic so let us move further with next point of barrier diode so here one can see basic internal structure so actually it is two terminal device but one can see there are three layers p and p layers are there and emitter region that is even connected to p and collector region that is even connected to p so what is the difference in between this so basic difference in between this two is emitter region that will be little larger than collector region so generally when we fabricate barrier diode we focus about size of p type material which is there at emitter side and it should be plus 5 percentage than the size of collector so one can say like see for example if i say 1 micro mm that is the size of collector 
1 micro mm that is the size of collector region. In that case, plus 5 percentage means 1.05 micro will be the size of this region which is there at emitter side. So that is how barrier diode structure is there. So that is having P and P type of layer and one can easily observe N type region which is there which is what sandwiched in between P and P that N type region will be larger one. The reason is here we have punch through effect. Now we'll be studying those things how things are happening in punch through effect but before that I think we should see what if this diode is connected in forward bias. And when we talk about discussion of internal structure, what we say is like it is having two terminal. Physically, there are two terminals. One is emitter and one is collector. But internally, if we see there are three layers and say center layer, which is N layer that has to be base as per PNP transistor. But this is not PNP transistor. This is only two terminal device. And there are only two terminals, which is what we are dealing with to connect it to have a biasing of this diode. So only two terminals are there even though it is PNP type of connection. Now let us try to connect this diode in forward bias. So if I want to connect this diode in forward bias what I will be doing is I will be connecting emitter with positive terminal of battery and collector with negative terminal of battery. So let us have a connection. So emitter now that I am connecting with positive terminal of battery and this collector that I am connecting with negative terminal of battery. So as I connect positive terminal of battery with emitter and negative terminal of battery with connector, this diode will come in forward bias. Now what will happen when this diode is coming in forward bias? So when this diode is coming in forward bias, if we see this layer P and P, there are two junctions. One is this junction and second is this junction. So if we see P type material, this P type material that is connected with positive. So definitely this junction that will come in forward bias. This junction that will come in forward bias. And because of my negative terminal that is connected with this P type material, this junction that will come in reverse bias. So what will happen as we increase forward bias voltage, this will be in conduction board, but reverse bias is there with this junction. So depletion region will increase. So as I increase forward bias voltage, depletion region. Now see that is what increasing like this. So as I increase forward bias voltage, depletion region will increase like this. Now see one can observe this is going in this direction. Now I'm increasing forward bias voltage depletion region is increasing now. Now if further if I increase forward bias voltage depletion region is increasing and at one voltage what will happen is there will be punch through of positive holes which is there at emitter and which will be moving towards collector. So one there will be punch through. Punch through means holes which are there in this emitter that will get injected in collector's terminal. And so those, those holes that will actually get punched through this collector. So this is what punch through effect and by that punch through effect there is a conduction of this diode. So see that is how things are happening. Now let us try to understand what if, if I have this diode in forward bias and what will be electric field which is there inside of this. So if I say I have certain amount of voltage which is there in forward bias and right now my depletion region that is up to this. This is what my depletion region I am just noting it as a D. So this is what depletion region which one can see right now and as it is in forward bias this junction is in forward bias this junction is in reverse bias. So if this junction is in forward bias one can see electric field direction. So that electric field direction that will be negative over here and depletion region is having positive electric field through this. So if I plot electric field then over here electric field will be negative. So I am just plotting what is the electric field which is there over here. So one can clearly see electric field that is positive over here. And as it is moving towards depletion region, that electric field is getting positive 
and now one can see over here in depletion region electric field is constant and this is how depletion region is having electric field and as that reverse bias depletion region that is getting diminished at this end now depletion region that electric field at that instant will get decreased sharply so this is how electric field is there inside now punch through that is happening by this electric field so one can clearly see what happens is as i increase this forward bias voltage this depletion region that will get expanded in this direction as i increase forward bias voltage that depletion region will expand and it will be getting expanded in this direction so what will happen is this electric field will move in this direction this electric field that will move in this direction and after some time what will happen is there will be no forward bias region which is what we can observe and once it inserted at this p type layer there will be punch through of holes which are there inside of this emitter region and that will go inside of this collector so this is electric field which is what one can see so this is electric field that is what one can see and that is what getting inserted to other junction and where there will be a punch through effect so what is punch through effect punch through effect that is a effect where depletion region is getting maximized to second layer and where holes of emitter region is getting injected into collector now here thermionic emission is happening rather avalanche here we don't have charge carrier multiplication in depletion region here just there is what punch through punch through means thermal process is happening where thermionic emission is happening where you don't find any charge carrier multiplication so we can say this is not avalanche charge carrier multiplication this is just a punch through of charges and those punch through of charges is happening because of this depletion region is going beyond its capacity so that is how punch through is happening now when we talk about barrier diode characteristic its characteristic is very simple and one can see characteristic is almost similar in forward bias i can say this is what forward bias and this is reverse bias this is forward bias and this is reverse bias and both characteristic are almost identical but there is one difference that one can see in forward bias if you see this voltage and in reverse bias if you see this voltage then in reverse bias this voltage is higher and in forward bias this voltage is lower so this is what only the difference which is what you will be finding now one is worried one can be thinking like how there can be a negative resistance characteristic so in vi characteristic you don't find negative resistance characteristic that negative resistance characteristic will appear when you insert microwave signal so i'll be explaining that how negative resistance characteristic which is been exhibited by barrier diode and how it is affecting in microwave signal so that is what i'll be explaining in next part so let us have that part so here one can see this is what the barrier diode working where i'm inserting terminal voltage which is what ac so this is what ac signal which is what i am inserting right now and what happens is this is what positive cycle and this is negative cycle and microwave signal which is what we are inserting at the terminal of barrier diode now what will happen there will be injection current because of punch through this injection current injection current is there due to punch through so this injection current that is there because of punch through now when punch through will happen punch through will happen when we give voltage across this layer beyond its depletion width if we give forward voltage beyond its depletion width then punch through will happen and when punch through is happening at that time injection current will be there as a spike so one can see at punch through effect there will be a spike of elect injection current so what i can do for linear characteristic one can give 
voltage and they can gradually increase it and if voltage is increasing beyond this depletion voltage across this reverse bias junction then punch through punch through is happening but when we talk about this at that time what i have done is i have set this biasing with punch through over here so one can see here there is a punch through so this is what the biasing position similarly here even there is a biasing position so this is what biasing position where punch through is happening and as punch through is happening one can see there is injection current and this injection current that is what leading terminal current through barrier diode so one can clearly see there is what current which is what flowing through barrier diode now what is happening over here with respect to current let us try to understand this this is so interesting so when we talk about that injection current so once injection current is happening barrier diode is started to conduct and once it is getting started to conduct one can see there is what terminal current which is what happening now terminal current that is happening for this positive half cycle as well as for this negative half cycle the reason is once punch through is happening conduction is happening through barrier diode so as conduction is happening through barrier diode current is flowing so during positive half cycle of voltage there is what positive current during positive half cycle of voltage there is positive current which is happening through terminal so one can clearly say the here voltage is positive and here current is positive so this is what positive resistance and during negative half cycle there is what flow of current and here voltage is negative and current is positive so one can say this is negative resistance so this is negative resistance so because of negative resistance barrier diode does not need large reverse recovery time and one can see already during negative cycle current is happening and at the end of negative cycle complete flow of charge carrier will happen through barrier diode so again when it comes to positive half cycle it is completely recovered now there is no flow of current and flow of current will happen after punch through so again after one more punch through one can see there is what flow of current so over here there is a flow of current and here again one can see this is what positive resistance and this is negative resistance so that is how negative resistance characteristic which is been exhibited by barrier diode and that negative resistance characteristic which you cannot see when you plot vi characteristic but that happens when we insert microwave signal inside and because of there is no need of larger reverse recovery time barrier diode could be utilized for microwave signal operation and those operations of signal that earlier i have discussed like for silicon you can work it with 25 gigahertz and for gallium arsenide one can work it with 90 gigahertz so that is how things are happening inside and now there could be some question like where we can use it so as i have already discussed like one can use it in microwave oscillator for low noise signal generator barrier diode could be utilized as well as in microwave mixer we can use this barrier diode so this is very interesting divide device but because of large use of trapped and impaired diode barrier diode that is actually not utilized so much in so many applications but when there is a requirement of low noise signal generation at that time we should have barrier diode for functioning thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video then subscribe to my channel and if any query is there then place that in comment so that we can have a discussion thank you so much for watching